Hi, and welcome to Some Assembly Required, brought to you by engineering.com. I'm Torben Ruddock, and today we're going to show you how to build a hovercraft that you can ride. That's right. Not only that, we're going to throw in some 3D plans to help you build your own at home. Hovercrafts can glide along rough surfaces and water because they float on a cushion of air. This cushion of air provides the hovercraft with an almost frictionless surface that they can glide along. So, a little bit of propulsion can go a really long way. We're going to build our hovercraft using a few simple items. For example, this leaf blower, a shower curtain, some plywood, and of course your standard lawn chair. To start building our hovercraft, I took a 4x8 sheet of half inch thick plywood and cut two 4 foot diameter discs. Next, in order to get a friction fit with the leaf blower, we cut a hole in the disc. Next, we're going to staple the shower curtain to the plywood. You want to make sure you pull the shower curtain towards the center of the disc to ensure a tight fit. And then you're going to place the staple about a half inch in from the edge. The shower curtain is one millimeter thick plastic and it makes up in toughness what it lacks in bathroom designer decor. We're going to trim off the excess right now, just using scissors about a half inch from the staple line. The next step is to add some duct tape. The duct tape is going to provide an extra seal, just to make sure we get as much lift as possible. You want to make sure when you add the duct tape that you place it about a half inch on top of the shower curtain and another half inch on the wood, ensuring it's got a lot of grip. Now we can see what it looks like after we've applied the duct tape around the entire edge. One piece of plywood is too flexible and will probably interfere with lift dynamics. So, we're going to double it up with another piece of plywood. After we put the second sheet on, we drilled a hole through the center so that we could reach the other side of the disc. Now we have a coffee can lid fitted with a screw through it. What we're going to do is place it in the hole that we previously drilled, like so. And now we're going to staple it in tight. This is going to create a donut shaped air pocket. Also, we're going to cut six air release holes and surround them by duct tape. Duct tape is key. Now we can see the pipe insulation that we've installed around the edge of the discs. This pipe insulation will act as a safety cushion, almost like a bumper. Now let's add a break in case we might want to stop. And of course, the last step, we need to add the lawn chair. I've already got these two screws in. Now we're going to put the front two screws. Here's the heart of our system, the 200 mile per hour leaf blower. This baby's going to lift me and this entire system right off the ground. First we're going to friction fit it into the hole we cut earlier. Now that it's in, all we have to do is turn it on and away we go. If we want to stop, we can ease off the throttle a little bit and apply the Flintstone brake. Now that we've created lift, it would be great to add a way to make it go. We've considered adding more leaf blowers or buying a ducted fan, but at around $1,000, they're really expensive. Or building our own ducted fan from hobby parts. If you have a better way to add propulsion, please let me know by commenting on this video. We'll build the best idea onto our hovercraft in a future episode. You can download the 3D model and interactive instructions with all the dimensions for this hovercraft by clicking the link beside this video. You can even download the Autodesk Publisher instructions to your iPhone or iPad. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like on Facebook or YouTube. As for me, I'm going to duct tape a cup holder onto this baby and take it to the drive-thru.